At the beginning of the colony, the people who arrived in New France spoke different dialects of French depending on what region they were from. Over the years, the manner of speaking changed. People who grew up in New France and had never lived in Over the years, the manner of speaking changed. People who grew up in New France and had never lived in France learned a new Canadian French. In New France around 1745, almost everyone was Catholic, and the church was at the heart of religious life. People went to Mass on Sundays and on holidays, and religious ceremonies were part of every celebration. Events that marked family and public life were also celebrated in church. Inside of a church, there were sculptures and paintings of religious figures. Children were born at home and baptized in the church. Newlyweds were married in the church before celebrating at their parents' homes. People died at home, and the priest said the final mass for the deceased before they were buried in the cemetery near the church. In addition to being important for religion, the church was an important building. It was built on high ground near the crossroads of the Saint-Gerry estate. The church dominated the landscape and was the largest building on the Saint-Gerry. The first pew of the church was also reserved for the Seigneur. When he died, he was buried under his pew. All of the inhabitants of the Seigneur went to church on Sunday. The village was built around the church to offer other services to the colonists who lived in the countryside. After Mass, the congregation gathered on the church steps to chat and catch up on the latest news. The church was therefore one of the main gathering places for the community. When the governor or the intendant had orders or regulations that he wanted to communicate, he would ask the captain of the militia to announce them after Mass.